As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key, perfect despite its age. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today we're going to find a secret key. And it is pretty awesome. Now, there is a lot more lore happening in the weekend events, and so I'm really excited about that. But I was first notified that this was happening by another awesome YouTuber, Captain Steve. Link his channel down below in the description and show your cha his channel right here. Captain Steve is awesome for information and lore, but he showed me that there is actually a cool little item on the Space Anomaly. Now that the weekend event has already passed by, we did a little bit of story stuff on that. If you want to know more about that, link up top and down below in the description to the video showing that kind of stuff. But come on over here. We're going to be talking to Gemini because he was actually included in that last weekend's uh, community event. So let's talk to him. He says, welcome to return, dear friend. I have something for you if you care for it. It's not much, a trifle, a token for my travels. But perhaps you will find it, find meaning in it. Yeah, sure, I'll take your gift, whatever that is. I do hope you like it. It makes me so happy to spread these little gifts among my friends. So he gave us a trident key. What in the world's a trident key? Let's go into our, our inventory, and it's right here. A trident key is an aquatic relic. A strange forked key glowing with an ultraviolet light. Despite its primitive appearance, exosuit scanning systems reveal traces of nanite foam upon its teeth. Now, at first I had, I had no idea what this is. I was like, what in the world? A trident key? This seems very, like, uh, important somehow. But if you actually zoom in and you look at it, it says used for upgrading right there. And that's really important because it has a total value, which is a thousand units, but always check your items. If you don't know what an item is, check for what it's used for because it'll always tell you, hey, creature pellet right here, it's used for building. This life support gel, it says used for charging. You see all that? So it will tell you what these things are used for. Vortex cube, used for trading. So you really can't use anything or you can't use the vortex cube for anything other than trading it for either money or like in the case of a couple weeks ago for the community event we used it as the item on that community planet so this is used for upgrading what in the world is upgrading well actually it's a really simple solution and I'm gonna show you what that is now in order to use the uh, trident key you're gonna need to try to find a planet that has a lot of water like this one. This one's basically all water with a little bit of land. That's the kind of planet you're looking for. So let's head down to the surface. So here we are. Now let's land over here where we can because you can't land on water with your starship. And this is the point when you're... Oh, wow, that thing's stuck closed. This is where you're going to need to have the submarine exocraft now. You can do it without it, but it's going to take a lot longer. So I would recommend having that as well. If you don't know how to do that, link up top and down below in the description. But I'm going to call in my uh, exocraft. My uh, submarine. Oh, I can't call it in here yet. I have to... Oh, I think I can call in my... My freighter. Right there. Now can I call in my submarine? Let's check. I still can't call in my submarine. Well, great. I'm going to have to actually build the Exocraft platform. So when you could do that, you can go over to your tech, Exocraft, and you're going to have to actually build your Nautilin chamber right here. Must be constructed underwater. Okay, great. Underwater. Boom, right there. So now I have my... Submarine, my Nautilus submarine. So, once you have your submarine and it starts floating on top of the uh, the water, that's weird. Let's go down underneath. Once you have your submarine, what you could do is you press down on your D-pad, and right here it says use a high-powered sonar, and you can search for different things. You can search for 
drowned ships, which is really cool. If you're looking for crashed ships, that's the best way to do it because it scans for any crashed ship and there's never a pilot there because it's underwater, they would have died. So you can actually just go pick up those ships, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a submerged ruin. So let's scan. Submerged ruin detected. So wh where is it? It's over there. It's about five minutes away. So I will see you guys when we get there, but that's what you're looking for, a submerged ruin. Well, we're almost there. Right here, okay, yeah, we actually are here, okay. They said it was 10 seconds away, but it was less than 10 seconds. So now if you scan around, you see these cool, like, sealed sea chests? Sea chest right there, sea chest right there. Let's actually get out our uh, terrain manipulator. We're gonna mark it real fast. That way we know where we're digging, and we're gonna go underground. So let's get down there. Let's get into this sealed chest. You're gonna need a trident key, which we got, and an offering. I need a living pearl. Oh, dang it, I need a living pearl. I need to get that. So, technically, I need to come back with a living pearl, and most of these are gonna be the same. Let's actually look at this um, event that's happening right here. Whoops. And also, let me get myself some oxygen. Oh, I can't get myself oxygen. What? Well, let's recharge our oxygen manually. I don't know why you can't do it quickly. Let's activate this, the All Her Abstraction. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before the ancient altar. It flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale. Accept the waves. I went down to the beach today. There's something about the sea at this time of year. It draws you in, distorts your sense of time. Salty frost on stubby grass. The sand blowing off the tops of the dunes. No one else for miles. People love the sound of waves, but it takes gray skies and high winds to really feel it. To understand their never-ending crash. The drum they beat upon the land. It makes me shiver. Okay. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key. Perfect despite its age. And we're going to get an ancient key from that, or a trident key as well. Look at that. Boom. So now we have two trident keys. Definitely, that's how you would do it. So that's traditionally how you would do it. You would go over there, and it would only give you one, but there's going to be multiple boxes around. See, we have three of them. But we're going to need a pearl, so we need to find an armored clam, like right, right there. Boom. Let's go get that pearl. Now, the trick with the armored clam is you have to shoot it once, and it'll open up. And I usually use my mining beam, but when it opens up, it might smack you and knock you away. So you don't want to be too close. And then at the same time, once it opens up, it's only open for a little while. So you have to be really quick. So let's do that and then get the living pearl. Boom. Oh, I got it before he closed all the way. Thank God. Woo. So we got our living pearl. Let's go open that chest. So here's our chest. Oh, that's the first one we went over to is over there. We dug our hole. So let's hit this one real fast and see what's inside this sealed sea chest. Let's try saying that three times fast. All right, so we've got our trident key and now our pearl offering. And we got a barnacle encrusted crab skeleton. Wow, okay. It's an aquatic treasure and you can see it's used for trading. So. What you really want to pay attention to is that trident key when it says used for upgrading. That technically means you're going to use it in a different item. So you'll use it in the chest. But yeah, so that is what you use the trident key for. And it is pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. And I will see you guys next time.